welcome to CRS info solutions in this session we are going to cover about fields so fields is actually representing the details inside the table so for example if I wanted to uh, fill the details for employee I'm taking the example schema as em employee ID name and date of birth so in order to create the three types of fields for employee ID it should be an auto generated number and for name which is already there in the Salesforce which is created by default in Salesforce date of birth is a kind of uh, date field it's a kind of date field which we need to create it so there are uh, two types of fields available in Salesforce that is standard fields and custom fields so standard fields which is a uh, inbuilt fields provided by Salesforce and the custom fields which is going to create by us so in developer edition maximum you can create 500 fields in arc so let's see a practical demo how to create a fields so to create a fields you need to navigate to setup in setup go to object manager so under employee you want to create fields means search for employees I'm opening the employee field here you can find a option called fields and relationships so I'm just selecting this fields and relationships option so here you can find by default Salesforce is created an employee name so we can ignore that one right now we are going to create a employee ID and employee date of birth so in order to create that I need to select new so here you can find the auto number which we are going to create it right now and apart from this you can see there are so many fields available based on the requirements we need to choose the data type so right now I am choosing auto number data type and I am selecting next here I am giving it as EMP ID and I want this format like this so you can choose your own format however you want so I'm choosing it as E or EMP or anything you want so this should be the format and if you want to add additional numbers you can include another zero so which represents the five digit numbers and the starting number you can mention it over here so here for example I am mentioning this as 1 so the employee IDs will be auto generated from number 1 so that is the set of four zeros along with 1 so this is how it will get created and I am selecting next and I am making it visible to all other profiles and I am selecting next and I am selecting save so here you can find this employee ID got created so in a same way how you are finding in a custom objects in a same way you can find the custom fields which is appended with underscore underscore C which represents the custom object I mean custom fields and if you want to check about the standard fields you can find there would not be any underscore underscore C in other fields so now again I wanted to create one more field which is a date of birth and I'm selecting it so here if you want to specific only with the date you can go by date and if you wanted specific along with the time you can select date and time so right now I don't need date and time so I'm just going and selecting the date field so I selected date of birth I mean I fill the date of birth 
and if you want to make this field as a mandatory field you can highlight this option which will make it as mandatory if you're not selecting it it will not make it as mandatory so when i'm creating employee id that is not needed of this because that's an auto generated number and this is an optional one which should be filled by the end user so end user wants to fill this field make it required so i'm just enabling it right now and i'm choosing next next and save so right now we have two custom fields and four standard fields so we'll go ahead and check it in the end user side i'm searching for university management and here you can find employees and you can try to create a new record so there you can find the employee name so i'm filling it as one emp02 and here you can see there is a star symbol which is representing the field is mandatory one since because we have enabled the option the required field so i'm choosing it uh, in case if you are not choosing this it will throw an error like complete this field this is called system validation by default it will throw if you are selecting it as this one as a mandatory field so i'm just giving some data but as 2020 october 1st and save it so there you can find this employee id is a auto generated one and this is filled by us so let's go and create uh, one more employee emp03 and i'm filling a date of birth so here you can find the auto number is generating automatically as two so this is how the auto number will work so like this we will be having so many fields and data types so let's see in detail in upcoming sessions thank you